G'day guys, it's Brandon Green here, coming at you live from Let's Go Brandon Green.com Studios. It's been a while since I've done a video like this, similar to this, of this nature. Let's get into it. Reaction video of Johnny Campbell, Dr. Johnny Campbell, as we all know. He's not a doctor. He's got a doctorate, whatever. He's a fucking, he's a good man. And uh, excess deaths in 2023. Let's get into it. Well, welcome to today's Talk Wednesday, the... 15th of November. Now we're looking at information today from the United States from the life insurance industry that shows deaths in young adults in 2023 so far are 20% above what we would expect. So quite a high increase and they do use quite strong words like the numbers are alarming and I'll put the link to the, uh, the news outlet in mm. the description. Now, this is happening so, all around the world in the Western nations. Off guard. And, of course, these guys are interested because um, it costs For a couple a of money. years now. Uh, the, the insurance payouts are higher than they uh, would want because it is an industry, and I'm not knocking that life insurance is necessary. Um, just to give you some examples here, 15 to 19-year-olds, the percentage difference from 2019, well, a little lower well, about 1% in 2018, 1%, but that's just fluctuation. Okay, we could argue about the pandemic of being a little higher, but, but uh, January to May in 2023, 24% increase. 30 to 34-year-old age group, again, uh, the difference from 2019, and again, January to May, 23% increase so far for 2023. It's persisting. 40 to 44 year olds percentage difference again these are young people 2023 so far january to may data uh, 25 percent increase and it just seems incredible to me that this is not uh, at the top of the political agenda and the mainstream news agenda now the article doesn't give too much extra information but causes of death show increasing cardiac mortality in all ages COVID-related causes declined in 2022 and, of course, are now low in 2023, thankfully. Others rose, particularly stroke, diabetes, kidney and liver disease. And concerningly, the Society of Actuaries poll, they, they seem to think that this is going to increase or carry up. The death rates are going to be higher in 2025 and 2026. So... Quite an overall pessimistic picture, really, from American life insurers there. Now, I'm going to go on and give some detail from uh, two sites in the UK. This is the uh, Office for Health Improvements and Disparities, and then we'll look at something from our world in data. And again, we see that the increase in deaths is across all, all the age groups. So this first slide is excess mortality in England by age, and the age here is 0 to 24. The zero line is along there. Dark is less deaths than we would expect. The lighter blue above the line is more deaths than we would expect. And we see that they've been higher in 2022 and into 2023 uh, significantly. Mm. More light blue above the line than dark blue below the line. Uh, we see it in the 25 to 49 year old age range again Young really quite stark very few weeks here where the numbers are below what we would expect this is the uh, 50 to 64 year old age range and again um, virtually no months where it's below average there this is the 65 to 74 year old age range again above average typically and there we see it mostly above average so you could say in this 75 to 84 year old age range i guess one thing you could say is covid came along and it made everyone sick and they were more prone to dying at an earlier age that's one thing you could say yes and this is the older age group 85 plus so we see that the increase in deaths is in all age groups above what we would expect. Mm. Now, um, the Office for Health Improvements does give some information which is remarkably useful as well on causes of death. Now, here we see ischemic heart disease. 
And we noticed that deaths from ischemic heart disease are higher in 2022 and 2023. Uh, these are cerebrovascular disease, so things like strokes. Again, we see higher than average. So we're seeing circulatory diseases here. This is chronic uh, lower respiratory disease. Now, we actually see here that the numbers are less than expected, which um, is, is good. Um, so we're seeing more deaths from cardiovascular disease, but uh, less deaths from chronic respiratory disease. And given that we've just come out of a COVID respiratory pandemic, that is a bit surprising, really. Um, now, this is um, heart failure. Well, in heart failure, it's uh, Jeez. a significant Look increase at that. in the amount of deaths from uh, that we're seeing from heart it's failure. As strong now as it was in... Very much higher, 2022, 2021. 20, 23. Heart failure is just where the, the myocardium, the, the, the pumping muscle of the heart, basically stops working effectively and can't generate sufficient cardiac output to meet the metabolic demands of the body, often with a backlog of fluid into the, into the circulation as well. Um, that's hard. This is uh, other respiratory diseases. That's this classification. And again, we see many lower than we would uh, expect. Much lower than we would expect. So it seems to be a cardiovascular um, This is uh, acute respiratory issue. infections. Hmm. <laughs> slightly higher than we would expect. Alzheimer's disease, uh, less than we would expect. Now, well, they're all being knocked over. Really surprising because Before they could a have lot got of it. old people have died. Yeah. Um, during the pandemic so that's not entirely surprising and uh, we could talk about why they died but the fact is they've got less old people who are sadly no longer with us um some would say it's done its job quite nicely a dramatic increase on the averages we would expect cirrhosis basically is the formation of scar tissue in the in the liver but those rates are much higher than we would expect now, I want to look at the international situation now, because this is not just the UK and the United States. And we'll look at the usual countries there we, where we normally look at this. This is Australia. So Ooh. 2021, 2022 and into 2023. Let's hope this decline in Australia is, is real, um, but it's still at about 6%. But it has been, as we see, as high as 20% excess deaths in uh 2023 in Australia. Canada, likewise, at the moment, um, excess mortality deaths from all causes compared Triple. to average over previous years. In Canada, we see it's currently over 15%. Jeez. Figures for Ireland, again, over 10% at the moment, at the present time, and has been higher in 2022 and 2023. Netherlands, Netherlands sitting at 20 and climbing. Of average again. Oh. Latest data there is actually over 20% um, in Netherlands. New Zealand, it's been Zealand higher in 2022, 2023. 5%. Looks like it's down to about 4% now, but it's been higher in 2023. This is the latest data that we have. United Kingdom, 5%. Um, looks like we're around about 7 or 8% there on that on that Our World in Data graphic. And the United States, well, it, it hasn't dropped yeah. below average for some time, has it? Not since the 5th yes. of January 2020 by this data set and uh, higher in 2022 and 2023. So sadly, we're seeing these increased deaths around the world. And uh, as far as we know, we've, well, we've looked at data from the UK and the United States that these are in... Uh, basically all age groups so it's across the age ranges that we're seeing this. Very surprising that we're not seeing and hearing more about this from our politicians and uh, mm. mainstream and media. Is it though, John? Is it really surprising? Before we go, um, if you want Given to, that 99% of them are yeah, all well, told everyone to do something that could be the reason well. why this is happening. These books are available for free download. I will put the link there, the books I've written. And this one, there's a uh, copies available in hard copy if you live in the United Kingdom. Johnny's a good this dude. One, um, I'm just getting around to updating it. It's just a matter of time. <laughs> Hopefully, we'll we'll reprint that as well. But there's a lot of detail there on on the Johnny was someone that we've seen who was just 
part of the you know, big engine that is download that healthcare that it, as you would going like. along with the and World um, Economic Forum's agenda. Thank you for watching. And let's hope actually we... grow a brain in real oh. time. And it was honest, wonderful. We heard much on these and it's great to still keep watching him because he's it and, uh, the, pe the, per the main person. That changes, but him and Russell Brand that I get all my information from now. regarding and this. We really need to be asking questions about this. Yes, we do. But, um, we don't seem to be getting many answers. Yeah, or any questions being asked. Great stuff, Johnny. Loved it. The guys, what do you all think of that? Crazy stuff, really, isn't it?